Uh, good day guys, welcome to Nobu Creative Digital Nuggets Agency. I hope you are doing great. In today's video, we are going to be doing a church flyer design on this design. So without wasting much of our time, let's get out of the business of today. But the first thing you have to do right now is so change the background to white color. White color, good. After I change it to white color, the next thing I'm going to do now is to click on my gallery. Click on the plus button, then click on the gallery. Then I'm going to go to my download. Then I'm going to insert a picture. An image. Good. So let's assume I'm using this image for it. So after download this image, the next thing I'm going to put to do is go to my relative size, then increase the wide. Good. So can you see it? Good. So after you increase the wide, just leave it like this. Then you, then you, then you click on this. Good. You lock it. So after that, the next thing I'm going to do is to click on this gallery, the plus button. So from gallery again. So I'm going to bring out um a shadow. So let's assume this is the shadow. This is the shadow. Good. So I'm going to give it white color. White color. So I'm going to give it the exact white color like this. Good. So after doing that, the next step goes to the right now is to increase this. Increase it where well. increase it very well. Increase it. Increase it. Increase it. So after you increase it, it's okay like this. Then the next thing now is to rotate it like this. Rotate it like this. Rotate it like this. So, so good. So actually now start putting something like this. So can you see it actually okay? So just sort like this. Good. So after that you duplicate it. Then you place it here. Okay, can actually lock the first one. Click the first one. So now we are working on the second one. Yeah, good. So this is the second one now. Good. So now the next one is to duplicate it again. Duplicate it. So you lock the second one. Second one, then you duplicate the third one. Good. So you work on the third one. Good. So can you see that we are actually moving forward? Good. So now it is actually okay. Something okay like this. So the next one is to lock it. So after you lock it, the next thing I'm going to bring out is my dot. Click on your plus button. Click from gallery. Then you actually type dot. So let's as well use the dot. This is the dot I'm going to be using. So after that, I'm going to change the color to this color. This color code. So the color code for this one is actually F5, F5, F5. Not actually white, it's actually F color. So I'm going to choose it here. So after you place it there, the next thing I'm going to do now is to go to your opacity. Then you retreat to your opacity. So can you see it's sort of friction is actually okay. So after you're done with that, the next thing I'm going to do now is to lock it again. So after you lock it, the next thing I'm going to bring out is my image. The image of the person I want to use. So let's assume the image is in my Canva. So I'm going to go to my Canva and bring out the image. So I'm going to bring out the image I'm going to be using. So let's assume this image I want to be using. So I'm going to place it here. Good. So let's assume this the image. So let's put it here. So after that, the next thing I'm going to do right now is to lock the image. So after you lock it, the next thing I'm going to bring out is to bring out the logo. So let's assume I want to bring out the logo. So I'm going to bring out the logo. So I'm download. So the logo name 21. So let's assume so this is the logo. So I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to place it here. So I'm going to break it down a little bit. So I want to play it here. Good. So after that, I'm going to click on my test. Then I'm going to write the name of the church. So this is the name of the church. So after that, I'm going to go to my font. I'm going to go to my font. Font. There, I'm going to give it my testeras symbol or board. That's right, board. That is the font I used to give to the church. Yeah. So after that, I'm going to go to my color then. Give it to black. I'm going to decrease this stuff. I'm going to cut it something like this. I'm going to not rotate. I'm not going to rotate it. So I'm going to make it small a little bit. So that I'm going to play it like this. Good. So you can see we're actually going forward. So I'm going to. Good. So yeah, actually going forward. So after that, the next thing I'm going to do right now is to click on the. Button, click on test, then I'm going to write 
Thanksgiving. There it is, church. Thanksgiving. So you give it capital letter. Then you go to your color. Then you change it to to red color. Actually, red color. So let me check it out. This is the red color. So I'm going to give it this red color. I'm going to go to my font. I'm going to use another font, which is black card. Black card. Black card, yeah. Good. So this is the font. So about that, I'm going to place it here. Good. I'm going to increase it a little bit. So after I increase it a little bit, next thing I'm going to do right now is to is to duplicate it. So I'm going to duplicate it now. I'm going to write breakthrough. Breakthrough. So I'm going to give it a capital letter. Then I'm going to go to my color now. Then change it to pure black. So after I change it to black, so track it down here. So the next thing is to make sure you so actually break it a little bit, then make sure they are aligned together. Use code. So that is that is how I want this. So after they are aligned together, so the next step is to do now is to click on my test. Then I'm going to write service. Service like this. The first one should be in capital letter because I'm using a writing for it. So go to your color, then change the color to uh, to this color. So after that, then go to your form, then change it to business admin. So business signature demo code. So after that you increase the size again increase the size then you actually put it here place it somewhere around here Good. so after that next time we are going to do right now so you place it, so you place it where you go so after that next time we to do right now is to click on my shape click on the shape then you you increase the radius to 100 then Okay, it that's why okay, just decrease it, then you place it here. So now you can actually zoom your work, zoom it very well, zoom it, zoom it. So after you zoom it, okay, then you decrease it a bit, then you place it here. So I want to zoom it back to see what I'm doing, if it's actually okay. So I think it's not okay like this. So I'm going to decrease it a little bit. I'm going to place it here. Good. So I think it's actually okay. Like so after that, you just duplicate it. So when you duplicate it, you go to your edit. Then you give it the opacity. You um you decrease the opacity now. Then you give it stroke. So let's add on the stroke. It should be around two. No five is too much. So let's give it three. Three. So zoom it back so that you can actually three is okay. Then you give the stroke a lot of red. Good. So just decrease it. Decrease it now. Then. Good. So when you decrease it, now you can actually zoom it now. So zoom your wall back, zoom it back. So I'm going to increase this on a little bit. Something like this. Good. So after you increase this one, I'm going to decrease this a little bit more. So when you do that, the next nice now. Just make sure this web plays very well. So then push in very well. Good. So the next thing I'm going to do right now. Is to duplicate this. This stuff. Duplicate it again. When you duplicate it again, they place it here again. So now you can actually decrease it a little bit. Increase it a little bit. So good. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to click on my test. Then I'm going to click on only this. This and wood. After, after that, the next time we do now is to go to my color, then give it red color. So, after you give it red color, you can actually give it under font. So, let's check the font that can go for it. So, let's check placard font if placard font can go for it. And if placard font cannot go for it, it's under font. So, placard font is actually good for it. So, just so just use the operation key to position it because if you actually say you want to use this uh, to drag it. It can't be dry because it's actually small, so then I can actually decrease it a little bit. Then let's place it if this one is actually okay. Good, I think it's actually okay like this. So we can actually move forward to the next step now. Good, so what is the next I'm going to do right now? So the next I'm going to do right now 
is to zoom it back so let's see what we're doing so can you see it actually came forward so the next time we should do right now is to click on the test then i'm going to write present now so the present should be written like this in the face one should be in capital letter, then the remaining should be in um, small letter. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it the main black color. So, I'm giving it black color. Then, I'm going to go to my font. So, I'm going to give it um, our um, Metastera semi board or medium. Yeah, medium is okay for it. So, after you give it, so after you give it medium, then you bring it down here. Then, you decrease a little bit. So, I'm going to check if you're going to move them up a little bit. So, just give it space. So I think we are actually going forward. So what is the next thing I'm going to do? The next thing I'm going to do right now is to from gallery. Then I'm going to click on drum. So let me check if the drum will be out. Drum so good. So now the next thing is to put this drum here. So I think the drum here just rotate it a little bit. Put it something like this. Good. Then put it down here. Good. So can you stay moving forward? So good. So after that, the next thing I'm going to do right now. Is to write a pastel name. So what is the, what is this thing you're going to do next now? So you click on your property, you click on shape, then you click on this radio should be around 20 or 21. So you're looking like this. So just do something like this. So just press it here. So I think it's actually okay like this. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to go to your shadow, go to your shadow, enable the shadow. The blur radius decrease it to zero. So after you decrease it to zero, just click on it. This is your y axis. Yeah. So just give it like minus six. Or no, sorry. Just give it like six. Or nine or eight. So actually it's okay like this. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to click on my plus button again. You click on shape again. You click on this, then you change this one, then you click on this one again. After that, you give it this, then you rotate it. After you rotate it, you decrease it. Then you can zoom your work now. And zoom your work now. So decrease this one a little bit. Zoom it to work again. Good. So drag this one up here a little bit. So I can put it here. Good. So let's see the other. So let's check what you're doing. Good. So can you see that we are actually moving forward? I think this one is too big. The name is too big. The this one is too big. So I'm going to good. So we are actually moving forward. So let's check now. Good. So it is actually okay like this. So what is the next thing I'm going to do now? So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to just click on the this one, this abundance palace. So just click on it, then you you write Prince Mendy. That's actually the name of the pastor, Prince Mendy. So good. So after you do that, finish, then you come here, then you place it here. We can lock this and this, so we can work on the remaining one. So after that you click on this um what do you call it this service you duplicate the service duplicate the service then you write seniors pastor so then let's add that the nickname senior pastor good so just come here then you decrease it a little bit then you can fit in here So can you see we are actually moving for good? So that's the next thing we're going to do now. So the next thing we're going to do right now is just to click on this your blue color. You click on this, then you where this one should be around there because we, can, we are going to be using this grid to do something now. So what is the next thing we're going to do now? So you click the grid now, then you click on your plus button again, you click on test, then you're going to click on let assume they want to do the um the service on Sunday, Sunday 25th. Then um Give it space, then you write September, September 2022. So you can see right now. So now, so the next, what is the next thing I'm going to do now? The next thing now is to go to your font again. Change the font to blogger sandboard. Good. So after you change it to blogger sandboard, the next thing I'm going to do right now is to go to your color, then change it to red color. 
change the red color so after you change the red color the next thing i'm going to do right now is to go to your align align then change to left alignment good because you're using left alignment so after this you're going to yeah you're going to decrease this then you're going to place it here so you're actually moving forward that is the date so so let it be aligned with the grid so let's check it now so can you see it is aligned good so what's the next thing we are going to do right now so the next thing we are going to be doing right now is to is to write the date the date yeah the date so it's already the date is the event is taking place so what is the next thing you click on your plug button you click on shape then you click on this then you change it to black color black color so you decrease it a little bit Good. So let it be aligned with this. Good. So for the next time, it's nice to so just copy this one. Just copy it, then you write seven. 30 a.m. to 11 a.m. So you just give it, just give it like this. About that. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to go to your font. Go to sorry, go to your color. Then change it to white color. So go to actually moving forward. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to keep it here. Then you position it very well. So we are not actually done with this. We're not actually done with this. Good. So you can actually increase the, uh, the size a little bit. Good. So let's check now. So we are moving forward. Go. So the next thing I'm going to do right now, uh, I, have, I forgot to bring out. Yeah, I forgot to bring it out. So that is actually this click in the plot button click from gallery. So I should be in my download. So let's let's find it. Let's find it. it. Should be here. So let's find it. Um. So um, this is the house. Good so now so good so you go to your color then you change the color to ash color something this so this is the color code for this the color code for this is d for d for d for. so that is the color code for the house don't forget the color code for um for the house is different from the one we use um for um for which one even for don't we use for the what they call it for the um for the dots so after that you increase it a little bit increase it increase it like this yeah good you look like this then you place it down here so after you after you place it down there so the next nice so, um long press it then you place the downside so let's go just the downside of this pastor blah 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 so let's go So I'm going to be moving forward to uh at least after the good so at the back of the pastor the back of everything so what's the next thing I'm going to do right now so the next thing that you can do now you should just go to your opacity then you reduce the opacity a little bit so you can see it so it's actually okay in something something for the very good so what's the next thing I'm going to do now the next thing I'm going to be doing right now is to click on your plus button and actually click on this present duplicate it then you write what they call it for inquiry for inquiry let us want to give the number for inquiry so you write the um, number 380 good so just I'm going to just increase it right now decrease the me so after you decrease it finish after you decrease it the next thing sorry so let me lock this house this I mean this building Good. So you can actually be so now so the next thing I'm going to do now is to just do something like this. Yeah, good. Then you place it here. Then we are going to be moving this thing up a little bit. So can on your grid. Good. So after that, there's something I need to do because I want to write what they call it. I want to write the uh, what they call it. I want to write the uh, the address. So I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to move all this up from 
So then about this and this, this and this. So I'm going to move them up. 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 So I'm going to move all this one to up a little bit. Then giving this one, this one series and did this, this, this and this and this. So I'm going to move them up to. Good. So it's okay. There. So the space is actually okay. So the next thing now, I know the list. Um. So the next I'm going to do right now is to, is to click on this for inquiry. Duplicate it. Then I'm going to write what they call it. I'm going to write. Uh, let us want to write the name of uh, the address of the stuff. So I'm going to write. Um, end of mountain of fire ministry road behind Fandes P school. Yeah, behind Fandes P school. Judge Auditorium. Judge Auditorium. So let's assume. Let's assume this is the name, this is the address of the stuff, of the what they call it, of the. Um, of, uh, of the jet so the next i'm going to do right now is to go to my align then give it left alignment so good so now the next now is just to do something like this then you decrease it a little bit then you come here then you place it and if it's not okay we are going to move this one up a little bit so let's on our grid again so that we can actually check if this align so it is not aligned so i'm going to do something like this i'm going to give it it's not good enough, so it's actually good for them to see the, um this this stuff very well. So I'm going to give them the strap board. Good. So let's check it now if it's okay. Good. So can you see it is actually okay? So what's the next I'm going to do? This. So this is the last, I'm not the list or the list, I'm not the last. So I'm going to give it something 2021. Good. So this actually, I'm going to crop it. So after cropping it, the next thing now, I'm going to do that. Can you see that it's not showing? Okay, actually not showing with the white. So what is that I'm going to do? Should just go to your color. Go to your color. They gave it this color, not this, not this D4 D4. Let's click on. Let's check on this one. Let's check the color code. So the color code for this F5 F5 F5. So that is the color code we are using for this one. So just do something like this. Good. Then duplicate it. Then place it here also. Good. So you can see we are actually moving forward. So that's the last thing. Another day. So you are done with this flyer. You are done with this flyer. So if you are not here, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to share. And don't forget to click on the bell notification to get more updates from this channel so after that you click on this save as project and save as your image so what you want to save as image save as png and save as ultra so then you save it i have saved it before that's why i don't want to save it again so thank you for watching until now